This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Hyperlite travel trailer XLT 2815 and it is a toy hauler. Okay, so this is not a floor plan video, it's more of a how to video. So I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay, now when it comes to the to the garage door and the bunks in the back we will uh, we'll show you that when you get here because I can't operate the camera and the and and the uh, door at the same time so we'll go over everything we can and then we'll, we can talk to you about the rest of it when you pick up okay so you have regular crank down stabilizers you have a power awning with LED strip you have a TV signal out power and a bracket to hang a TV on if you choose to they have outside speakers up there. Okay. Moving forward. You have your hitch in here. Husky center line weight distribution hitch with built-in sway control. It's a good one. We'll show you how that operates too when you pick up. Um, Okay, so this is a kill switch for your battery. If you want to shut the battery off, disconnect it from the trailer, you just turn it off and it's disconnected. So when you put it in storage, for example, you can, uh, you can disconnect it if you need to. Um, now this crank here, the smaller one, obviously the larger one there, the three quarter inches are for the stabilizers. This smaller one here is for the power tongue jack. If the power tongue jack happens to fail for any reason, you can just pull this plug on the top, put that crank on there, and still get yourself hit, hitched and unhitched, no matter what. So, it's just a, uh, it's something you'd use in, a, in an emergency if you had a tongue jack failure. So, that's a good thing. You have a deep cycle marine battery, two LP tanks which are full with an automatic changeover regulator, uh, power tongue jack as I stated. Over here, this is where you're... This is pre-wired and pre-prepped for generator, so this is where your generator would go right here, okay? This right here is your dump hose, obviously. That's a reducer for your power cord. And this is your sprayer. Uh, there'll be a, at, least, at least one spray port, maybe two. We'll, I'll point them out as we go around the trailer, okay? Alrighty. Your uh, water, hot water, uh, works on both gas and electric. The switches to control it are inside. Wait a minute, there's actually another one here. This, this switch right here, if you can see it, this rocker switch on and off, it controls the electric heating element that's behind this cover here. So keep in mind that that switch is there for you, okay? There's also switches inside. Right now this is empty and drained, so it's winterized. Uh, it, the valve, valves are bypassed, so it's all set for the winter. Make sure you fill it back up before you turn it on, okay? That's important, obviously. I'll show you the switches when we get to them inside. Now you have your uh, city water hookup right here. That's the most common way to get water to the trailer. Then you have your fresh water here, which is your to fill your fresh water tank. So if you're camping someplace that does not have city water hookup, if you're boondocking or whatever, you can always pre-fill your fresh water tank and use the onboard pump to pump the water. All right. I'll show you again. I'll show you the switches for that. And this is your black tank flush here. So if you're after you dump your black tank you leave the valve in the open position right here you can see your valves in the open position then you hook the uh, hose of the dump station right on there turn it on it'll spray out your black tank clean off the sensors that sort of thing so okay this is a, a port for your sprayer right there uh, cable and satellite into the trailer you have a 50 amp shore cord plus we give you a 50 to 30 amp reducer and then a 30 to 20 amp reducer. Um, well, let's move on a bit here. Your uh, fuel station here, you can see you've got your, your pump, your handset, and your, you can turn the pump on and off here. Uh, and there's your filler there. Okay. Like I said, we'll go through your, uh, the back door in the, in the bunks when you come in to pick up. Uh, at the very top there you can see that there's a housing that housing's for a, a furion backup camera kit if you uh, if you're interested it's pre-wired for that so it's an easy add-on 
Also, while we're looking up the manufacturer states every 60 to 90 days, you should inspect your roof. Uh, just, just have somebody inspect it, make sure there's no issues with it, no damage by low branches or cracking or separation, no problems at all. It should be, inspecting your roof should, roof should be part of your regular maintenance, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna work in here and I'll work around our, uh, our guy in here, okay? So, this is your power converter right here. So this converts AC to DC power. So you can see, uh, you have one, you have these, you have uh, few, or breakers just like you see at home, 110 AC, and they're all labeled, right? Then on the other side, you got 12 volt DC fuses, and they're all labeled. So as long as you're plugged in, this is also a battery tender. So it's gonna, it's gonna, if you're plugged into shore power, it's gonna set how much energy your battery needs, and it'll always keep it charged. We're talking about the battery on the tongue, okay? While we're here, this is your um, carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green like it is, if not get it serviced. This is part of your vacuum system. You can just put the dirt in front of there, and flick the, the, the pedal there, and it'll suck the dirt right in like a, like, sort of like a dust pan does. Okay. Thermostat, which is self-evident. This max air is for your ceiling vent. Uh, so you can, which is over here. So, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. This won't work around me. And uh, you can control this from up here, or from right here. The uh, lights are here. Your power awning is right here. Never leave the awning out unattended. Um, your water pump is here. Light your water pump on gas is here. Remember I showed you the uh, uh, the um, other switch in the lower left hand corner outside, that's for the electric heating element. Uh, you have tank heaters on this one that increase your, your camping season, basically you can extend your season by running these. Uh, fuel pump cut off, this is like the main switch for your fuel pump, so if the button outside doesn't work it means this is off, okay. Uh, slide room. Uh, your bed lift, which is back here. Um, this is the for the generator here, which is not installed, but it's pre-wired, like I said. And then you have all your levels right here, right there, okay? Very simple. Your keys are hanging on your faucet right here. Um, you have a TV, obviously. You have a, a, a sound bar here. The sound bar has Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly from your phone to your tablet. It has FM radio. It has a USB drive and two speaker zones, A and B. A is inside the trailer, B is outside the trailer. So it does all that. Your microwave works like any other microwave. Uh, these are for your, these four holes here, are, or posts here, are for your, your um, tables that, that attach right there. Okay. Your range. Good. You have a uh, sparker right here, you turn it clockwise to spark. Then you have your three burner knobs here for the three burners, and then this is the oven knob here. So I don't know if he's got the gas. There you go. Yeah, so it's that simple. The gas, remember there's a, or I mean the oven, remember there's a pilot light down here, all the way to the back. Maybe you can see it here. Either way, you're going to put this to the, so you're, you're going to go to the picture of the flame, then you depress it. Then you light the pilot light. After it lights, you hold it for another 10 or 15 seconds for the thermocouple to heat up. Then you go to the operating temperature, and it, and it cycles as nothing does. But when you shut it off, the pilot light goes out, so you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Um, you have an ambient light here and then oven light there. Right. Always travel with this top down. Okay. So this is a this is a a. Um, Dometic gas absorption refrigerator. So let's start right here. This basically you have on and off, that's on. Um, when it comes to uh, the mode, that's auto. I got it on now, I don't know if you can see very well, but it says auto. That's where you're going to run it almost always. 
Auto means it's uh, you can say it's auto electricity because it always seeks out 110 AC. If it can't find it, uh, it'll switch to ga LP gas and light the burner on LP gas. If you if you have a pow power failure during the day or during the night, whether you're there or not, it'll sense that and it'll automatically switch from electric to gas also. So auto's the way to go in most situations. And this thing here, this is this thermistor. This is how you set the temperature. You want this basically up all the way. The higher you go with this, the cooler it is inside the refrigerator, okay? All right. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. You have two seats, of course. You come this way, excuse me. The, you have an emergency window here. Obviously, you have a, uh, a uh, powered fan here. There's also TV hookups over here. TV back or and the hookups. All right. When it comes to the bathroom, sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. You have another power vent here, which is up here. Um, this is a GFCI, for example. All the plugs in the trailer are wired to a GFCI, just so you know. All right. So no matter where you pop it, you'll reset it inside. And of course, the toilet it works like all RV toilets or travel trailer toilets in the sense that it sits right over a black tank. You have a flush pill right here. Okay. So when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. Then you're going to come inside. You're going to dump a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you're going to step on the pedal and hold it down. As you hold it down, the water will start swirling around and goes right into the black, drops into the black tank below along with the chemical. You want to have at least a gallon of water and a dose of chemical in there. You can use more water, but not less. Just, just use that the, the gallon as a starting point, okay? The thing is, if you don't do that, that'll be like using it dry, and what'll happen is it'll get clogged up, and the smell will be terrible. So you always want water and chemical in it before you start using it. Okay? And this is your um, central vacuum right there. All right. Let's, let me just look a little bit farther here. Let's see what we got here. Just more storage under here. Okay. Good. Let me walk around a little bit, make sure I didn't miss anything here. Feel pretty good. So we go when we go over your bunks and everything. Um, we'll show you the we'll show you the uh, how the bunks go up, and now we'll also show you the garage door. And then this has you know fence that goes around the edge of the patio with a with a uh, a screen to keep the bugs off. It's it's really nice. So okay. So I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please remember what I said about inspecting the roof. Uh, that should be part of your regular maintenance.